I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and uh, you know NPCIL has declared the written exam result the video of which was uploaded yesterday and uh, many of you have got call for that interview and interview is from 12th April to 20 I think 24th April so very less time is left today is 2nd April so very less time is left you know in every interview wherever there are interviews in every interview uh, they normally ask question related to that particular organization like NPCIL Valley interview may they are going to ask you some terms some uh, things related to NPCIL so your PDA may we have made a detailed document of that 15 20 pages document please go through that that is very very important for interview because he might ask you what do you mean by let's say fast bid reactor or what is the capacity factor of NPCL or what is the total percentage of nuclear power generation in India uh, out of the total electricity which is generated or how many reactors are there in nuclear power corporation of India limited so which ministry it comes under who is the uh, chief of chief executive of NPCL so these kind of questions are normally asked I have made all these uh, things in one detail in document and that document is available to you you can take it uh, and you can prepare it now let me let me tell you uh, uh, very briefly how what you have to focus so I have marked with the red color whatever are the most important things so you should know that nuclear power corporation of India limited is a public sector comes under department of atomic energy and this department of atomic energy is government of India's department so that also we can see companies act 1956 may it was registered and uh, the main function of this is to basically operate the new atomic power plants uh, in India and uh, it uh, basically is uh, all the programs and how to generate electricity uh, under atomic energy act 1962 so it was created in uh, companies act 1956 you know NPCAL uh, has also another there is another equivalent PSU which is a Bhavini B H A V I N I equivalent it has also some role to play and uh, it implements the fast bid reactor programs so September 1987 it was created what is the main objective of NPCAL is to design to construct to commission to operate and to maintain the reactors reactors of government you know there are some foreign countries also like uh, Russia which is making some kind of reactors in India but NPCIL is related to those reactors which government of India is making and the main purpose is generation of the electricity so uh, atomic energy act 1962 it comes under that and also it fulfills the ISO 14001 environment management system it is this is the environment management system and ISO 14001 certified company it is so you should know that you know it has got the highest credit rating AAA by crisis and care and uh, uh, basically it has two boiling water reactors also and 18 pressurized heavy water reactor so what is boiling water reactor what is pressurized heavy water reactor there are only two kind of reactors which actually NPCIL is going for largely pressurized heavy water reactor so what is the heavy water what is the meaning of heavy water and what benefit we get after pressurizing it so is it being used as coolant or uh, uh, what, what is the main purpose of that so uh, that is uh, mentioned at the end of the document please go through that what uh, boiling water reactor and pressurized heavy water reactor then some uh, details you know who is the basically chief SK Sharma is the CMD of this and uh, what is the basically when was it created and where is the headquarter so Bombay is the headquarter Mumbai is the headquarter of this that you should know and uh, what is the main responsibility of this how many reactors 22 reactors uh, we have as of now uh, private companies basically uh, uh, are permitted uh, now to make the reactors so even private companies are given the permission so there was some law for that so as of now how much is the total electricity uh, how much megawatt electricity is there in India as of now uh, what is the total electricity produced by uh, all the kind of thermal power plants hydro power plant what is the total electricity produced and out of that how much is the nuclear power which is produced 6200 megawatt capacity so that is uh, another information which you should know you need not to memorize what is the megawatt capacity when it was created you need not to know that only thing is Rajasthan mein kaha pe hai Maharashtra mein Tarapur Rajasthan mein Rawat Bata and then Kalpakkam Tamil Nadu Gujarat mein Kakrapar and Karnataka mein Kaiga so these names you should know that's it 
you know where are the reactors and under construction also in gujarat rajasthan there are some under construction uh, reactors also and there are some proposed reactors also in different states that is what you should know and then what is the vision of this uh, uh, basically npcl what is the mission of npcl what are the core values safety is something which is uh, to be given lot of importance so safety ethics excellence care you know safety and ethics are somewhere related also so what are the core values that reflect what kind of industry is that what are the objectives safety first production next safety first production next obviously that is expected from nuclear power reactor so uh, the main objective is also to increase the nuclear power generation capacity in india that is what we want and to protect the environment so what are the operating units same information which i provided you that is provided here again how many uh, our units are under construction that information is also provided so what is the operating performance <coughs> uh, availability factor above 80% you understand availability factor so uh, any power plant if it is a thermal power plant hydel power plant how do you measure its performance so there is a plant load factor thermal power plant ntpc ke interview ke liye if you will go i will ask you what is the plant load factor if you are going for nuclear power reactor or nuclear power plant i am going to ask you what is the capacity factor or availability factor these are the two very important terms capacity factor availability factor please uh, think uh, please see what is the definition of that safety first production next these are some of the occupational health and safety management system related uh, certifications iso 14001 and is 18001 so you should know the meaning of this then i talked about biodiversity conservation here environment stewardship program is npcil's voluntary program so that basically is a biodiversity conservation related bio uh, protection related uh, program of npcil organizational chart of any organization is very important who is the cmd that you should know and then followed by some kind of directors so that also director finance director uh, operations director personal director hr all these are executives so nuclear power in india what is the situation it is the fifth largest source of electricity in india first is coal then gas then hydroelectricity then wind power something like that so solar comes later right so 22 reactors are there and approximately 6780 so a little less than 7000 megawatt so it is 3.22% of total electricity generated uh, in india to total electricity jitna bhi generate hota hai maybe 2 lakh megawatt somewhere around that or 6000 megawatt 7000 megawatt is nuclear power generation very very important data data out of total electricity how much is the nuclear nuclear uh, electricity jo nuclear power se banti hai that is the fifth largest source that is important and you know uh, fukushima japan mein jo nuclear accident hua tha 2011 after that there was a lot of resistance in india also to create new nuclear power reactors so he, this question case study can be given to you in the interview that if uh, you want to establish a new nuclear power reactor but villagers or local population is against it how shall you convince them so that is also one of the case studies which normally is given so there was a nuclear disaster and then there was mass protest protest against jaitpura nuclear power project in maharashtra kunam kulam in tamil nadu and haripur to even was packed up by west bengal government so that was the information yes nuclear power in india has suffered mainly from low capacity factor so what is the meaning of capacity factor what is the meaning of availability factor please go through this and india's nuclear program is three stage nuclear program till thorium you know because india has lot of thorium but india does not have natural uranium india is not having that is a main reason our this uh, availability factor or capacity factor is less we do not have uranium we do not have fuel fuel is less like visakhapatnam steel mein why visakhapatnam steel is in losses sir captive mines nahi hai visakhapatnam steel ke paas like coal india has its own captive mines but not visakhapatnam steel similarly availability factor and capacity factor of nuclear power reactors in india is low because we do not have nuclear fuels uranium 235 uranium 239 238 we do not have natural uranium i think uranium 238 and rich rich 235 we need to import it from nuclear supplier group that is i think 45 46 countries are there in that group and thorium we have but thorium is third stage that is what you should know capacity factor availability factor isko bhai acche tarike se revise karo what is the meaning of this take this document and revise it 
and then some information through maps go through map and see where is the different uh, narora kahan pe hai ravatbata kahan pe hai kakrapara kahan pe hai jatpur kahan pe hai kaga kahan pe hai kalpakkam kahan pe hai kudumkulam kahan pe hai you should know this and this is another information you know active plants and plants where we want to create that is the meaning of it nuclear power generation this is how it has gone so uh, this is the generation uh, this is how it has increased atomic energy commission structure dekh lo department of atomic energy atomic energy regulatory board npi npcil ke interview ke liye you are going where this comes department of atomic energy atomic energy commission this is how it flows now india's nuclear industry is also where it stands so atomic energy commission department of atomic energy and this is public sector undertakings that is how you are to know where it stands and bhava atomic research center is r and d center both are coming under department of atomic energy let me tell you one more thing about nuclear power corporation sometime scientist of barc come in the interview they will sit in the interview so you can expect that kind of technical questions similar to barc also here पावर जनरेशन में कितना परसेंट है भाई हमारा न्यूक्लियर का कितना परसेंट है दैट यू शुड नो टू टू थ्री परसेंट थ्री परसेंट याद रखना टू टू थ्री परसेंट इज द टोटल न्यूक्लियर पावर जनरेशन का शेयर इतना है सो मोर देन टू लैख मेगावॉट थर्मल देन रिन्यूएबल इतना है हाइड्रो इतना है न्यूक्लियर इतना है सो टोटल इज थ्री पॉइंट फोर फोर लैख वट इज द टोटल जनरेशन इन इंडिया न्यूक्लियर टोटल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर फोर लैख दैट इज आई थिंक टू थाउजेंड एटीन का डाटा है टोटल कैपेसिटी इज 3.44 लाख मेगावाट आउट ऑफ विच न्यूक्लियर इज 6780 ओके नरोरा कहा है उत्तर प्रदेश ककरापार गुजरात तारापुर महाराष्ट्र कालपक्कम तमिलनाडु वाई एम शोइंग यू वर्ल्ड बिकॉज कुडम कुलाम रशियन है दिस ऑल आर बेसिकली रशियन यू सी रशियन चाइनीज साउथ कोरियन सो रशिया का कुडम कुलाम में है कोवाडा इंडिया में एंड बांग्लादेश में भी रशिया इज ट्राइंग टू मेक वन That is the meaning of it. What is the pressurized heavy water reactor? Deuterium is called heavy water. You know, at heavy pressure, boiling is avoided. So that is the main reason why we pressurize it. Read it. Similarly, uh, boiling water reactor. So out of twenty-two reactors, largely are pressurized heavy water reactors for us. Nuclear fuels. I told you uranium two thirty-five, uranium two thirty-eight, plutonium two thirty-nine, then thorium, canadium, deuterium, uranium. That plant we have. so concentration you can see thorium 232 is largely in india right so that is what we know i think this is more than sufficient details take the print out of this and go to interview of npcil so very less time is left prepare well and go there all the best thank you